in this video we're gonna learn about a very important sigma algebra called the generated sigma algebra it is generated by set but before going into that definition let's see a very small and easy statement that we're gonna need that statement says that the intersection of sigma algebras is a sigma algebra okay so i can grab any family let's call them a sub i of sigma algebras and this family it could be countable or not just any family index it on any set so we're gonna use this notation to say that i that's gonna be the set of indexes it can be just countable or uncountable okay we don't care we just grab any family of sigma algebras and their intersection is a sigma algebra so in this case the intersection from all i in the set i of the sigma algebras is a sigma algebra now to prove this it's extremely simple because all we have to do is check that this intersection is a sigma algebra but that is very very easy because whenever we grab an element in this intersection that element belongs to all of these sigma algebras and because those are sigma algebras then you have the property of complements are there and their unions for any collection the union will be in each of those sigma algebras so again it, those will also be in the intersection so i'm not gonna bother and prove this because it's extremely simple and now we can actually move on to the definition we care about and this is a definition slash lemma because what it says is that whenever we grab a subset of parts of x so e is gonna have it's gonna be a set formed by many sets from x then there exists a unique smallest sigma algebra containing e okay and smallest i'll explain this in a bit and this smallest sigma algebra is defined like this it is the intersection of all the sigma algebras that contain this set e well the, that there exists a sigma algebra containing e is very easy because every time we grab e in parts of x well parts of x is a sigma algebra but what this theorem is telling us is that this sigma algebra is in particular the smallest one that contains e and what does it mean for it to be the smallest one okay is that whenever i grab any other sigma algebra so let f be a sigma algebra that contains e so e is contained in the sigma algebra f then because this generated one is the smallest one we will have that sigma of e the generated sigma algebra is contained in f and this is actually very easy to check because if f is a sigma algebra that contains e then f is in this intersection so we are intersecting f with many other sigma algebras and so sigma of e this intersection has to be contained in f so this is obviously the smallest sigma algebra possible that will contain e and why is it a sigma algebra well these sets we are having here are sigma algebras that contain e so all of these things that we are intersecting are sigma algebras and the previous statement said the intersection of sigma algebras is a sigma algebra so we have many many sigma algebras in here that contain e and all we're doing is intersecting them so this intersection this generated sigma algebra that we will use this notation sigma of e is a sigma algebra 